Tonight, new developments in the former president's New York civil fraud case. Trump requested a delay in paying the $355 million penalty, and now a judge has said no. CNN's Kara Scannell joins us now with the latest. What was the reasoning the judge gave? So Trump had asked for this delay because of the magnitude, this $355 million judgment. And the judge said that he did not provide, as he put it, he didn't. He failed to explain, much less justify, any basis for a delay. And this is because the New York Attorney General's office had written up a proposed judgment, and they were saying they wanted some time to look at it. The judge is saying this matches my order exactly, so we're going to move forward. So he indicated to the parties in an email that he was going to now finalize this judgment because, you know, as we know, the ruling came down Friday, but it doesn't really become official until it's entered into the docket. So the judge noted on the docket that he was doing that, but it still has to get processed by a clerk. And once it is final entered, which could be as soon as tomorrow or might take a couple days, then this will become official. So the clock starts ticking once it's finalized. That's right. So from whenever it is finalized, Trump will have 30 days to appeal and 30 days to post $355 million plus $100 million in interest. So a lot of money. He'll have to put that together either by posting the cash himself or getting a bond that can be backed by collateral, some of his properties. But he'll have, you know, about 30 days, and that includes the weekends. So if you kind of can guesstimate if this judgment does become final soon, that means he could have to foot this bill right when he's about to go to trial on the criminal hush money charges. Wow. I want to start with former Trump attorney Michael Cohen. He's the host of the podcast Mea Culpa and Political Beatdown. He's also the author of Revenge, How Donald Trump Weaponized the U.S. Department of Justice Against His Critics. Michael, the judge in Trump's civil trial, his fraud trial, just denied his request to delay the judgment of $355 million plus interest. Does Trump actually have the cash to pay this? Well, if you ask Donald if he has the cash or not, he'll tell you he's very liquid and he has more than enough cash. Well, the problem with that is, if that's true, why then was he looking to figure out how to bond $5.3 million that was owed to the E. Jean Carroll verdict, the first one, and certainly he hasn't done it yet for the $83.3 million. So the answer is no, he does not have the liquid cash within which to post this bond. So do you think that it will require perhaps selling assets in order to, to get that sum? I don't know. You know, obviously, none of us know who they're speaking to right now in terms of getting the money. Are they going to get the money from a hedge fund? You know, there's a lot of billionaires that are circling Donald Trump the way sort of a vulture circles a dead carcass. They see him as the useful idiot that they made billions and billions of dollars when he was president of the United States. And so they will continue to circle him. Maybe one of them puts up the money uh, on his behalf uh, for the in the form of a bond. Don't know. But rest assured, um, he'll have to figure out a way how to bond this uh, in order to be able to file the appeal. So in light of this judgment, Trump, as I'm sure you know, announced this $399 sneaker line. That took a lot of people by surprise. But I wonder, did it take you by surprise, as you know him as well as you do? Uh, the sneakers, yes. You know, I mean, I don't know who he thinks he is. Michael Jordan or my old client Kanye, you know, with Yeezys. Uh, I mean, these are some of the most repulsive, ugly-looking $5.25 to manufacture in China sneakers I've ever seen. Uh, the one good thing for the rest of us is when we see somebody walking down the street a mile away wearing them, well, we know who they are. We know that they're the racist, sexist, misogynist, xenophobe, homophobe, Islamophobe, anti-Semites you want to stay away from. Michael, just as we are coming on the air tonight, Trump has just filed some motions to dismiss his classified documents case. That's the one involving the documents he kept at Mar-a-Lago and in other places. He's citing presidential immunity. Uh, this is, of course, a defense that is, is currently under judicial review, and it has not worked yet. What do you make of that? Well, so far, every attempt, and mostly it was by Alina Haba, uh, so we already know where the result is going to be on that one, Every attempt regarding presidential immunity has failed, um, and rightfully so. First of all, the issue is not 
that he took them when he was the president of the United States. The issue is, is that they had lied. Uh, they had filed documents claiming that they had returned everything, uh, and clearly they did not. And he continues still uh, refusing to return the documents. That's part of that document case. I don't suspect that he'll be successful on this go around either. And so, of course, of course, his lawyers are filing this late motion. The purpose for that, we all know, it's delay, delay, delay. And in the event that he loses, as he will, they will then just go back to their supporters and say, we need more money uh, for the lawyers so that way they can file appeals on that as well. Yeah, it's all I mean, a delay game. Yeah, it's a very expensive delay game, as you, as you noted. I mean, it's every time It's not expensive he... for him, though, Abby. It's yeah, it's for not other expensive for him, though. Bills. It's expensive for everybody else that's footing a billionaire's uh, legal expenses. Yeah, Michael Cohen, thank you very much. Good to have you on the show.